Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Crystal Palace career mode. This is episode number 4 today. Really excited to be bringing you another episode. Hopefully you have been enjoying the FIFA 17 career mode thus far. I know I haven't been uploading a great deal. Obviously nowadays guys I do work 40 hour weeks. I've got quite a busy schedule in a way. So it's not as easy as it used to be to upload all of the time. But I am trying my best to get probably at least 3-4 to four episodes out a week and the weekly vlog. That's my plan guys. And that's what I'm trying to do. But it is a lot of hard work. I'm doing it because, you know, you guys are awesome and you support the videos. And I'll try my absolute hardest to get as much of this out as possible. But today, we do start with a home game at Selhurst Park against Stoke City. Stoke always been the sort of team, not only in FIFA, but in real life. Not so much now under Mark Hughes, but definitely when they had Tony Pulis as their manager. Very hard to beat. And they showed that by actually scoring a very annoying goal there from John Walters. I didn't really understand how that went in. A little bit disappointed with Mandanda. I mean, you saw how kind of like weak that shot was, and it just went through his legs and into the goal, which was a bit annoying. We were found ourselves 1-0 down, though, at home, which is not great. But Andros Townsend tried getting us back into it straight away. Good shot from him, but it did go wide of the post. And um, it actually looked like it went in, but it didn't, unfortunately. And then Ryan Shawcross there takes out Benteke and does receive a yellow for him. What I didn't realise is FIFA 17 now has this, where... When you take a free kick, an indirect free kick, it doesn't actually let you see behind the player. You just do it like that, which is a little bit strange, actually. But we pass it through to Jonathan Tarr there and actually gets brung down in the box and a penalty is awarded. Thank you to the referee for that. And I'd never taken a penalty before on FIFA 17 and I didn't know what was going on. But for some reason, Ben Teke managed to score that. Didn't really deserve to score that, I must admit. It was a very dodgy penalty situation this year. I don't know what that's about. The kind of like new set pieces I'm really not a fan of on FIFA 17. It's going to take a little while for me to get used to them, but the penalties especially are very strange, how you start running up and then you've got to kind of shoot, I don't honestly get that, but nevertheless, Papa Square there, crosses the ball into Benteke, and he manages to pick himself up as second goal, he's really starting to show that he is a good player, I mean the best way to play with Benteke i found so far anyway, which is kind of obvious for him, is to cross it into him, you know, he's got a massively good header and he can just do some amazing stuff, but here, we had a bit of a defensive nightmare. I mean, you can see there what was going on. Walters ends up putting it in to grab his second and to level the scoring at 2 all. And I was a little bit peeved with that because it was very bad defending for me. I missed a the pass there and then it just went all over the place and they ended up bringing back another goal. But as I said, Stoke are incredibly hard to beat. They may not be the best team in the league. They're never going to win the Premier League, really, at any time soon. But they always are so difficult to beat. And it's always the smaller teams in FIFA that I find a lot harder to beat. You know, they play a lot more defensive. And Stoke play very well on FIFA. And not only that, in real life as well. And they can be a real bitch to beat. And that proved to be the fact in that video, in that video, in that game there. But we do travel to Goodison Park up in Merseyside to play against Everton. A team that we've obviously done a career mode with a few years ago. I don't know why, but I never enjoyed the Everton career mode. But I always look at Everton and really want to do a career mode with them. So... I don't know, maybe one day we'll go back to Everton, I doubt it. They were just a very boring team to play with. I don't really know why, to be honest, but yeah, they weren't, honestly, the most enjoyable team, which was strange for me. I don't know why I felt like that with Everton, but that was the case. But so far, guys, Crystal Palace is really, really enjoyable, and this team plays amazingly. Zaha there passes it through to Papa Square. He tries to go for a long shot. I found the shooting on this game as well is very different to how it has been. I mean, I haven't played, guys, any more FIFA 17 than what you guys have seen me record, so for, like, the four episodes... So I'm still really new to the game. I don't really have time to play it for myself. I only really play it to record for you guys, which is fine. And I love doing that as well. But it's a lot different this year. It's going to take me a while. So give me like the first 10 or so episodes to get used to the game. Because honestly, it's a lot different to FIFA 17. But that there from Wilfred Zaha. Pick that one out. Absolutely stunning finish from him. Just after the half an hour mark. Comes off the post. But look at the way like he manages to do a lovely little burber spin there. Around the defender. Finesses it. Off the post and in it actually looked really nice in my opinion. Really nice goal from him. And we do find ourselves 1-0 up. Just a lovely finish there. Rob Balls couldn't get to it. And um, yeah, we did find ourselves 1-0 up at Goodison Park. Which was really good after the last game at Stoke. I was hoping this game we could actually get a win against Everton. And try and, you know, build our way up. You know, if we are looking to get into the, the European spots at the end of this season we do need to be trying to beat the bigger teams and I would consider Everton to be one of the harder teams to beat in the league definitely one of the better teams in the Premier League not the best by a long chalk obviously but still very good and there was a very embarrassing miss from Gareth Barry that's the thing with the CPU like they miss very obvious chances like that I mean you know that chance there realistically Barry should have probably put them one all there but he didn't and that was unfortunate there I don't know what was going on my defending is something else like honestly I, I don't know sometimes when I'm defending guys it feels like I'm not actually doing it like I'll be there in my own little world and then be like oh I'm actually defending on FIFA and then before I know it I've conceded but another chance there 
Nice little through ball. Unfortunately, nothing came from it. And a lovely ball there from Max Meyer, I think, into Benteke. And he finishes it again to pick himself up yet another goal. Third goal in this episode from Christian Benteke. Really enjoying him now. And you guys have said to keep him. And at the rate we're going, I think he will be staying at the club. You know, he is their marquee sign-in. And I don't want to get rid of him. But he started to pick his performances up a little bit. He started to realise that I wasn't happy with him. He started to realise that Marcus Rashford might be taking over his place. And, you know, he's come to this, you know, realisation that he needs to step his game up. And he's done it. And I'm really, really happy that he has managed to pull it together. Because, you know, I don't like selling players that have just come into the club. Like, Benteke joined in the summer. I'd hate for him to go in January, you know, not really be able to use him yet. You know, he is such a massive player for them. One of their best players, you know, arguably anyway. And, again, a very disappointing attempt at a save from Steve Mandanda they're really not too sure what to think of him he's 85 rated but he let that goal in the last episode and he's just let that in and that is very very disappointing and I also want to say guys we did have an episode that you guys missed we did actually get two wins in it um I forgot to mention that at the start of the episode we actually missed an episode due to some issues with my recording software but yeah we did win and we are looking pretty good I think we had 12 points in the league at the start of this game so you know, that's something to take in anyway. I think so anyway. I, I, you, you guys can see what we've done in the last episode when we get to the league table at the end of this game. But Andros Townsend there whips across into Benteke. Unfortunately, this time he couldn't get himself a second goal like he did in the last game. But still very, very good. And ben, uh, Barry there passes it through and a good miss from that player. I didn't actually see who that player was. But Steve Van Dander, like it's a very strange one with him. I think we will definitely have to consider him after the first season to see what his kind of like clean sheet like rate is. Because... To be honest, he's letting in some very sloppy goals at the moment, and I'm not really going to be happy with that if that carries on throughout the whole series. He might be someone we look to replace in the future. I, I mean, definitely for the first season at least, most of the players here will probably stay at the club, and then we'll really see in the second season who we want to keep and who we don't. We do reject an offer there from Ecuador, though, for international management, and we get Scott down injured for three weeks, which is a little bit of a shame, but we do also go and praise our team. And you can see here in the league table, we have won five, drawn one, and lost one. So I believe in the last episode... It was uh, four zero one. So you know you can see in the last time, the last time we played, we got two wins, and um, that was awesome. You know we are top of the table right now. I don't think that will last very long, but it's a good start for us at Crystal Palace. Really happy with the way the team have played so far. Looking to try and get into at least a top five this year. That would be the goal anyway. Hopefully it's possible. I don't know how it's going to be possible, but we'll, we'll see as we go along. And you know it should be a good time. You can see that Swansea. It looks like they haven't actually got a badge. Because it's blended in so well with the black little background there. But thank you guys so much for watching episode number four. Hopefully you all have an absolutely fantastic weekend. If we could smash over seven likes on this video guys. That would be absolutely awesome. The support is really appreciated. It makes me smile so much when you guys support the videos. And if you haven't already. If you could subscribe as well. That would be absolutely awesome. We're only 42 away right now from 1000. Which is incredible. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode. Very very soon.